some reason, this bus makes me think of the song to the Hot Pocket commercial. Hot Pocket. Only it's Rust Bucket. Yeah. I'm going to try a different goof off uh, this time. I've been using the this one, the Pro Strength Remover, but they had this one, Pro Strength Graffiti Remover. I don't know that there's a difference. It appears from the back the ingredients are mostly pretty much the same, so we'll give them both a whirl and see how it does. I have this corner section all scraped, pretty much scraped off of there, except for this one little area right up here, um, and a little bit right here. Just kind of like to put that on there and see if one is stronger than the other. Yeah, let's spray that on and see what we get. I would start cutting on it today, but it's just kind of fun to see if we can get any of this off. Do the fun stuff for today. And then for my welder, I've got to make an extension. I don't think my... Well, I know it won't. My welder won't reach out here. So I'll have to buy a, some electrical cord and an outlet in order to be able to weld out here. Or wire the carport. Either one is a possibility. Let this sit on there a second and see what we, uh, what we get. That stuff works pretty awesome. Get right off of there. Alright, give it another coat and we'll neutralize that with water and call that panel uh, back to original. I love that color. This is what I'm using as a scraper because the blade is pretty flexible so I can bend it to the shape because I'm going around a, a curve quite a bit and it's not super sharp but I can get, I won't be able to now that I'm down to one hand here but can get right up in there without really damaging the paint. It's worked out really well. Now I know people are gonna want to question why I want to save something like this. I'm kind of a member of the Wounded Bird Society. I always want to rescue those things that no one else wants to rescue. How awesome does that look? Someone's beat out. There's been a, a banged in place right here. And they've beat it out. You can kind of see it right here where it's kind of caved in. That is going to look so good. I love the stories that these old buses tell. One of the things I noticed was over here probably won't be able to see it but this clearly quit working and so they just taped <laughs> you can see the tape lines and there's repeated tape lines where they've taped the gas door shut and there's even a little residual tape masking tape there's about six layers of masking tape right there where they've taped it down all the stories this thing could tell and I think that is gonna look really good I'm happy with that. So this part, I kind of got down to the bare metal there. Just let that go ahead and rust back. And then we'll oil this corner. I haven't waxed it or anything. I've just wiped it down. It's going to look really good. Well, only another 15 years of, of peeling off paint. It's only time. Well, we got that rear corner done. We might as well jump onto the back window here. I have my little helper. Say hi, Dalton. Hi. <laughs> He's doing some window washing for me. How's it going over there, buddy? Good. Good. So we'll go ahead and clear uh, what I've started, kind of all that off of there. That top is lithium grease where I loosened up that hinge. Ironically enough, it's kind of working as paint remover. But we'll go ahead and put some of that goof off on there and 
get that side cleaned off too. It's really coming along nice. It's not coming off easy, but it is coming off, which is better than not coming off at all. So duck lid's already done. There's a video. I'll try to remember to put a link here. There's a video of me stripping it down. So it's already, already done. So basically I've just got this one section here of the deck or of the uh, rear hatch and then this little piece right here that the deck lid attaches to. You cannot mimic what mother nature will do. That just looks fantastic up there. There's still a little bit along the bend there that I've got to get out. This side here doesn't have very much paint on it so I'll just oil the metal part. Very little paint there. I'm liking it. I'm liking it. Looks like there's some original logoing there, but I'm not gonna be able to save it because it's on the, on the navy blue portion and not the dove blue portion. Oh, that sucks because that would be awesome. I'll see what I can do. Save it. So next morning, kind of see a little bit better. That just makes you sick, doesn't it? That logo is on top of the dark blue paint. And the paint I want is up under there. Maybe Vanny Pinstriping can uh, help me recreate it. Ugh, this hurts my soul. This other side's gonna be the same way, this Washtenaw County. It's on the blue, the dark blue. I need to find a, uh, see if I can find some archive pictures, maybe in the county archives or something. Maybe the Historical Society has something. See if we can find what it said or what it looked like. Looks like it was maybe like number and then a, a number and then a dot. It looks like that's a dot. If you go up close and look, looks like that was maybe a circle. That up top, I think, I'm pretty sure that said Washington all because the very, the last three letters you can see it said N-A-W. That's pretty clear. Ugh, it just kills me. I've moved on to a razor blade now. So much of this is just flaky on there. It just comes right off. Therapeutic in a way. There's yellow paint under there, probably scraping off lettering. Original logos being scraped off while you watch. Uh, it doesn't look like words though, this looks like a layer. But it was a stripe or something because it looks like the sun's shining so you probably can't see that but there's a stripe that comes down right there that's coming off pretty easy we're gonna a little bit see what we get i think i just figured out what this actually says it's Washtenaw County's largest service department and I'm saying that because you won't be able to see it in camera probably the way that the Sun is shining you can see it a little bit right there you can kind of see the outline of the S see it and the E the way the Sun is hitting it right now I can actually make out these letters I could tell this was an R it misses either a B or a G because of that. And then the E-S-T I can see. 
Washtenaw County's largest service department. For what? I don't know, but that's kind of cool that we can read that. And anything I'm pulling off up here is not uh, a letter. It's just body fill or a paint over color. And it looks like there might be something up here. I'll try to be careful when I'm up here, but there's also yellow paint right there, which there probably wouldn't have been lettering up there. Be interesting to see uh, what the front of the bus has on it. Yeah, Washtenaw County's largest service department. I doubt I can save any of that, but we'll try. I don't know how many times this bus was repainted with lettering and I don't know if you can really see that in camera. It looks like there's stripes and then M O O I don't know what that says. And it looks like it said of above there. Just makes me want to throw up but I can't save it. It's on the layer above. Yeah. And it's weird because this white is like a body filler that's been put in. There's probably a big dent somewhere right in behind there. Although from the inside, it really doesn't look like there is. But yeah, some kind of some kind of uh, stripe or lettering or something there. Hopefully, it's coming through on the camera. There was there were words up here too. It looks like. Can't really tell. Yeah. If you get in the right light, it's M U B I G. I don't know if that's coming through on camera or not. Right up here at the top, you can kind of see the edge of the letters. I don't know if you can see that or not. I Googled it. I can't find. I thought it said mobile, but it's, I can see the G. I can see the top of the G. So I am 100% certain that said Mubig, M-U-B-I-G. And then I can see the of up here. That one's not coming through as well, but you can totally see what this lower portion said. I Googled it, it doesn't have any significance really. So that's the last time you're gonna see it. <laughs> I'm gonna take it off. I'm going down to dub blue on that corner there. As little paint as is left on this thing, I want to save all that I can. I would really love to say I'll save all the original logos. I don't know that I'm going to be able to do that. I've mentioned it over and over again, and you can tell I'm pretty heartsick about it. But I think I've made the decision with or without your input. That's going bye-bye, so take a good look at it because it's gone on the next clip. If you've been following for a while on the channel, you saw me strip uh, the deck lid portion, this part down here. Yeah, I'm wearing gloves. Note that one down, that never happens. And <clears throat> I counted the layers of paint that were on it. There are seven layers of paint. And I will say that that new graffiti remover, the goof off, that's the graffiti kind. And I've treated it one time, I've gone over this. Uh, so there's the, the three layers of paint and then the remaining layers. And this back corner does not have the yellow that the deck lid had. The deck lid had a layer of yellow paint on it, so I don't know if it came off of another vehicle uh, or not. But. And because the original paint is an enamel base, this goof off doesn't tend to, uh, or doesn't seem to affect that paint like it does the other stuff that's on top of it. The wasp are not happy. Move their home. So we're down to kind of that <coughs> initial <coughs> just inhaled a piece of fuzz to the uh, original first overpaint, which was that dark blue. And I'll show you how easily that comes up. So it was dub blue and then this dark navy went on top of it and I've just gone over it and I've only waited about two seconds now. So 
that comes off real easy. And what, again, what I'm using is Pro Strength Graffiti Remover. All I'm, right, you ready for it? Gone. All of you who are screaming didn't scream loud enough. It's gone. Let's see if we can get those tail lights off of there. These are Fords. I believe these are Fairlane. Somebody correct me if I'm wrong. Um, they left, from what I can tell, they left the original uh, Volkswagen hole. I don't think they cut it out any bigger. But those gotta go. I have reached a point where I can't take them anymore. So let's see if we can get both of those tail lights out of there. Well, on this one, I've gone around kind of with a Q-tip and tried to save it. And it just, it I can't control the line even if I tape it. So sadly, it's going. Oh, that original logo. I'm about to throw up doing this, but it's the only thing I know to do. Ugh. That one hurt. Sorry about the wind, but if you were wondering if it'll take off Bondo, uh, this is my third coat of spray. And that was a pretty thick area of Bondo. So the answer is yes. The dripping down, it's crying, and so am I. I hope you all realize that if that had been the original paint, I'd have done everything I could to save it. But because it is on that dark blue, anytime I go to remove the dark blue, that stuff gets up under there. Yeah, I couldn't work in gloves. Gets up under there and it just peels it off. Just sickening. Yeah. Well, I don't know what your feelings are, but getting those tail lights off of there. Oh my gosh. Just look at that. And I noticed on them, they're stamped 63. 63 Merc. So, I'll either make a lamp out of them or if somebody has interest in them, they're, the chrome on them is in pretty good shape and one of the lenses is good. If somebody's interested in them, uh, message me. I'll ship them out to you. You can have a piece of pickle. So that's what we got done today. And I'm gonna wash it really quickly just to kind of neutralize everything with soap and water. And then I'll set the deck lid up there and we'll take a look what she looks like or what he looks like. Here's what I took off of it. I worked a little bit on this corner. I just kind of put a sledgehammer behind there and gave it a good whack. It doesn't look too bad. There's a few little spots. There's a dent there. There's a pretty good one right here that I'm probably gonna leave. worked most of it out. I'm real happy with how this is turning out. Obviously this lower, whole lower corner is going to have to be replaced and feathered in. I may not replace that for a while though. I need to peel this metal off of this side. I did on this other side, on the driver's side, but that's the goop I took off. All right, let me go get the deck lid. I'll put that on, we'll give him a good bath. And we'll call this one quit. And I haven't waxed or done anything to the side and it's, I can't believe how shiny it is. These vents are shiny too. That is crazy. So that's just being washed off. Put a little bit of oil on it, see what happens. Well, we're no silk purse yet, but we are well on our way to a burlap bag. So, you know, again, I say I only have about 15 years left of work on this thing, but if I could get the rest of the truck to look that good, I'd be totally happy with that. I love this rust cut right here down to that tail light. I can't believe how much of the blue came back on that section. Look at that shine.
Well, it was fun. Hopefully on the next one we're doing something a little more heavy duty than just removing paint and tail light fixtures. I'd really like to get into <clears throat> doing a full run again. But whatever it will be, will be. And hopefully you're here with me. Thanks everyone. See you next time.